Hear the ballad of Rufus Red. When Normans ruled old England, Red Rufus he was king. He taxed the poor, his word was law, he could do anything. Nine hundred years ago or more happened his death most strange. At dawn a king, at dusk a corpse. How quick do fortunes change! Rufus feasts late at Malwood Hall, atop of Minstead Hill. His courtiers talk of venison and of the stags they'll kill. Then in there strides a ghostly monk, and all the court is still. Rufus, you are a cursed king, by holy church I'm sent to tell you that your death is sure, unless you now repent. You rob the church, you rob the poor, and this I tell you true, that if you hunt tomorrow morn, then demons will hunt you. The monk is gone, and all the court whisper, is this a sign? But Rufus holds his jewelled cup, and calls for more red wine. The next morn Rufus rises late. Some say he is afeard, for in the night he dreams. His screams around the court are heard. But Rufus finds a trusty steed, and picks a doughty bow. Today, he shouts, is Lammas Eve, and hunting we will go. They ride down into Canterton, Tyrrell beside the king. Take my best arrows, Rufus says, for they'll good hunting bring. Here's to the kill, a royal kill, I'll not ill omens fear. Beneath this tree, come, stand near me, and we'll watch for the deer. The deer stand cropping at the grass under the falling sun. Then at the sound of hunt and hound the deer all start to run. Here comes a stag, Tyrrell, a stag! Shoot, Tyrrell, play your part! He pulls a bow, an arrow goes straight to King Rufus' heart. The king is shot, the king is shot! The courtiers gather round, with Tyrrell's arrow in his heart, the body on the ground. From out the wound in Rufus' chest pours out the blood so red, to match his beard, to match his face, to show that he is dead. His brother Henry takes the lead. Tyrrell, it was mischance, but killing kings is treason here, it's time to flee to France. Tyrrell did spur to find a ship, Henry to find a crown, Tyrrell to Christchurch Harbour Road, Henry to Winchester Town. Did Walter Tyrrell fire the shot? Did it bounce from a tree? Or was it God planned Rufus' death? Or was it Prince Henry? Or was it here on Lammas Day, death in the ancient pagan way, a sacrifice of blood that would make England's crops grow fine and good? It's something we can never know. It happened many years ago. In Canterton, deep in the glen, the king's deserted by all men. The sun goes up, the sun goes down. In three days Henry has the crown. For three days Rufus lies unloved. For three days Rufus lies unmoved. Here Rufus lies neath empty skies, And crows and magpies peck his eyes, And round his wounds buzz swarms of flies. In Minstead, scarce a mile away, all talk is of the body there, and are his pockets filled with gold, and who would look, 
And who would dare to go and move that royal corpse? And would they get a brave reward? Or would the Normans seek revenge and quickly put them to the sword? Then one called Perkis, great of heart, pulled Rufus on his charcoal cart, and took him, no one else would dare, to the great town of Winchester, and the king's blood, or so they say, reddened the fields along the way. In Winchester, within the hour, they buried him beneath the tower. And now, around the church, the crowd shouted his wickedness out loud. The tower fell on him, tis said. So ends the tale of Rufus Red. That was nine hundred years ago. What think we of this story now? Ah, death! It is a certain thing, whether we're commoner or king. So let's live life for the best, not worst, then we'll be blessed and not be cursed. <laughs>